have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey, team is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. A fun, fun video about the Marceau, which does it all on the map trap and a really good explanation and a showcase of what this thing can do. Before we begin, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support and the subscribers at 4,000 to do another premium giveaway. So as always, thank you guys enough for helping build the community and learning something at the same time. So let's go right to it. This is um, Trap, and we are Marceau. We're going to do, uh, using our speed to go in and cap Charlie. Nothing too cosmic here. I like the new build with RPF these days, and I'm trying out on a lot more destroyers. I hunt DDs down. I think it's a very valuable tool uh, in most regards because it's just great to have that extra sense of uh, information and situational awareness. So I do like it. I don't do uh, long-range gun builds on Marceau anymore because the, the shells seem to be a lot more trolly and arky. And honestly, I like that low concealment detectability. So if I, you know, have that level, what is it? We're shooting out to 11.5. So I'm not spotted out to 13 or 14 if I do shoot. So I do like that aspect so I can go undetected a little bit more often. And, uh, and the gun power and the reload is just awesome, so I normally play Fearless Brawler right now. You can see the reload is pretty decent. Two and a half second reload with four guns that are just devastating. One of the best, the best DPM in the game. And I think that Marceau does a fabulous job, especially with the HE starting fires, doing a lot of damage, really melting destroyers. And I think I like that a lot. And especially cruisers and battleships. It does literally everything you want it to do. Uh, even a submarine warfare, although I hate submarines, it does deal with them effectively with not only the speed, but the depth charges you're dropping literally like uh, I think I believe it's 18 depth charges per run so it's really really powerful uh, when you drop a whole blanket of depth charges as opposed to small and only gets like a few right so it's pretty sad here we go first engagement right here off the uh, flat what is this the lightning sorry lightning and uh, just un unable to deal with the amount of firepower that the Marceau brings it's got the French saturation of the armor you can see right there no matter how hard you shoot at the Marceau now, armor is already fully saturated, and it's doing the minimal amount of damage as opposed to other destroyers and other ships out there, and I like that for that reason. And using the speed, the guns, and the armor, and then the, the a decent enough HP pool to allow the Marceau to survive a lot. Now, notice you went, we went from Charlie Cap all the way to Bravo. We've capped two spots for our team. What are you? What's your role as a destroyer player? You're capping, you're spotting, you're killing destroyers. We did it all right there. We're shooting at cruisers, and now guess what? We're using RPF to find out what's the next closest target. We're gonna go hunt them down and go kill them. Now we got a submarine over here, and we have a destroyer. So obviously, I have friends right there. We can spot the the submarine right there. Good situation awareness when it's underwater. The RPF doesn't work, so you can see the arc of the RPF right now is aiming towards the um, the what does it say? Yu Yugamo. So Yugamo is now our next target. So the, the RPF is pointing in his direction. We're going to start opening fire and getting as much as we can off of him. He doesn't have heals. So we're going to throw as much as damage as we can, get him as low health as possible. So when we do go on this one-on-one -on -one engagement, uh, we can mitigate as much to us as possible. Submarine is right there, but you know what? Good thing Jaeger takes him out with his destroy this depth charges. So now all we have left is Yugamo. And when we... Um, use our speed to really rush down and know where he's at. This is really beneficial right here. When a submarine goes, I'm sorry, a destroyer player goes undetected, has better concealment than we do. We don't have any idea where he's at. I don't have radar, but I do have RPF, which tells me point my ship, the thing on the thing, point right at him and just nose him. And even the front two guns of the Marceau is powerful enough to destroy his destroyer player. So it's really awesome. He's already, like I said, low health right there. So Wes, what? We're just going to go ahead and put just the front two guns and... Boom. Splash 2. We take him out. That is another destroyer player eliminated off the map. We are doing our role and our job. Hunting down destroyers, saving our team, helping him out. Now, here's our another role. We're going to farm battleships late in the game. I've noticed Marceau is very good at farming battleships late in the game to allow you to uh, literally draw fire, burn everything down. You're not being shot out by, you know, 10 or 12 ships like when we first start on the map. So normally I've seen it works a lot better when you're kind of just saving your HP for the end, the second half of the, the match, and that helps you out a lot. And, and now you're just shooting a battleship that's one-on-one. -on -one. His shells are his shells shooting at you are very difficult. And Splash 3, there's another job we're blowing up to battleships. So like I said, a battleship player shooting at you only is really difficult to hit. You're a small, fast target, nimble. And, of course, we got the engine boost that lasts almost four minutes. So really, really powerful um, aspects of what Marceau. And I'm noticing, I, man, this thing is its so true that this is the best restorer in the game because it can do everything that you asked for it. 
to do every single role that the destroyer player needs to be doing. I mean, you think about it, it's got torpedoes, guns, uh, it has the ability to track down speed, juke, everything it needs to do. Um, it has defensive fire A, which obviously A is trash nowadays, it doesn't matter with the type of CVs there are, but at least you have it, as opposed to not. So I applaud that for, uh, for it having that ability. And now we're starting fires on battleships, you know, that's really good. We're spotting for our team to help, hey, shoot this Azuma down, let him run away. Notice he's running away rather than charging us, so. That's the power that you can bring to the battlefield in a Marceau, and I do enjoy that a lot. We're also capping Alpha Point right here, and exactly what we're supposed to be doing, helping our teammate cap points, get things going on, go out, and then rush around back to the other end of the map so we can go help and uh, be that quick reaction force to support um, our friendly players. So right now, Zumo's not having a good day. He's just getting torp like crazy, my god. I think these are Jaeger torps. I mean, look at the amount of torpedoes there are. I mean, do we get this Kraken? Can we get a Kraken from this? Come on, give us a kill. Yes, there it is. Splash four. We get our fourth kill right there. Again, what did I say? We're killing destroyers and blowing up battleships. That's our primary role right there. Um, especially in the game. We're going to go speed this up. And uh, look, we're going to have to run. Now, the beautiful thing, again, I love about the speed of Marceau and Clabert and the French destroyers is you're able to run around the map with your head cut off and literally just do every single role that you need to be doing and also to support your players. Again, this is a team game. It is not a solo game. This is a teamwork effort. So you're going to the place where your team is needed. And I like that so much about the Marceau and Clabert because you are a quick reaction force to so rush to the area that you are des uh, definitely needed to bring on firepower to bear on your, uh, your enemy, um, your enemy combatants. So pretty awesome there. Now we're going to hold right here. Now I'm, I'm being conservative here because I don't know where their ships are or where the destroyer players at. So I'm going to be very conservative. Now, the RPF is showing me. That's why it's good to know these things. The RPF shows that the Yamato is the closest thing to me. So I'm going to go ahead and focus more attention to him. He's going to get torpedoed like crazy. We're going to hold our shots because I don't want to waste my health on something unnecessary until I can get at least the Yamato down to half health. So looking around, analyze the situation, figuring out, is this going to be a good time to shoot? Yep, and then why don't we go ahead and open up and start get as many fires as possible. He definitely damaged Connor right there, those uh, torpedo and the flooding. So I know he. when we get this fire, it's going to stick. When you get it to stick, you're going to use um, compound interest of fires to burn down a ship even faster, all while still taking alpha damage on the superstructure. That's where I'm currently aiming right now. I'm just trying to walk the shells on the superstructure and get out. Now, he's firing at me. I don't have my engine boost on to juke these shells, but just looking at his dispersion, we start to fire on his lucky shell right there, but you know what? It's okay. French saturation pulls into play and helps us out a lot. Doesn't matter how big his caliber guns, you can only do so much damage. And here we go. We're going to get, he's going to take a lot of torpedo hits right here. This is going to help us out a lot. Again, he was distracted by us, which totally threw his attention off of our Jaeger, torping him. And so him having to maneuver and deal with a gunboat DD, very, very difficult. No, difficult. Know that he is still firing at us, which means he's not firing at our teammates. That's exactly another role destroyer player does, is draw fire so that when they sacrifice their shot, it's completely waste of time. That's why I think battleships nowadays are at a disadvantage. It's just, you can't deal with this anymore as a battleship. You're getting flooded, torped, and look at that, even submarines are coming into play. Not really fun for a battleship these days. And like I said in my previous video, I think the reason why battleships... Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of gimmicks you give them. It's just the nature of the game because the game has, I would say, progressed and evolved. Just like that's what capitalism and you know and technology does. We just evolved the technologies to make it better and more effective killing machines. And battleships have not aged well with that. And that's why I said the Wisconsin, although it's a great thing, adding the F key is not really an advancement of technology to allow them to deal with all these problems that you're facing right now with gunboat DDs like Marceau, destro uh, destroyers, uh, torpedoing. You have these submarines that go undetected that all you have to do is point a square on a map and click and hopefully a torpedo or sorry depth charge bomber is going to somehow save the day that, that's not what world warships world of warships started at it was literally being able to shoot shells and an artillery game i mean that's I, what i thought this game was supposed to be about but again i got i digress now look at this um we launched torpedoes in the direction of the kremlin here or Sorry, I keep thinking that's Kremlin, but it's basically a heavy battleship. So we're not, we weren't going to mess with him one on one because he has so much armor, so much health, and we're just waiting. And we launch those torpedoes. Now, the thing I like about this better than the Mar the Clabert, um, because the Clabert's torpedoes aren't going to go go out to eight. The Marceau's goes out to nine. Although they are a little slower, they still get out, reach out there and touch somebody. So uh, we launched those predicted torpedoes just in case, and they're actually looking good so far. And I wonder if we get this kill on the Conqueror. Sorry, it wasn't Kremlin. It was a Conqueror. That's what I meant. Correction there. And there we spot the Destroyer. And here comes one Torpedo, two Torpedoes, and three Kraken right there. And we get our lucky wild 
uh, shot in the dark torpedoes, and that is how we do it. Never anticipated getting a crack and just based on that kind of torpedo it hit. But, hey, Marceau's got it. It can do it all, ladies and gentlemen. It can run around the map with its head cut off and do every single thing you ask of it. And that's why I really enjoy the Marceau a lot. I think it's almost overpowered, um, but very, very powerful. And now we have the RPF telling me where exactly this guy is. He is locating me. I'm locating him. Locating him. He definitely knows where I'm at. I know where he is at. He pretty much knows that this game is over. When you have an Marceau with engine boost on, traveling at 55 knots right behind you, it's very, very difficult to outrun a Marceau or Clabert in these engagements. That's why I like Marceau a lot. The guns are quick. They're quick turning turrets. They allow you to hunt DDs down, maneuver, and get into position in a very efficient and effective manner, and I do enjoy that. And again, the tactic I'm doing right here is using the smoke against the enemy player because now I can use the smoke to cover my movements, and I'm gonna, I am noticed that as soon as I exit the smoke, his speed was not enough to get out of his detection range of me spotting him. So as soon as I pop out of the smoke, I know I'm going to spot him right away because this it's so, it's so difficult for any destroyer to outrun a Marceau with 55 five knots over here overtake um yeah just not fair so watch this as soon as i get out of the smoke i'm gonna pop him oh boom there he is right there so right there opening fire in the front two guns and we're taking him out right there he pretty much can't do him. this game is pretty much over yeah and just the power of the four guns just shooting so much firepower down it's just uh, it's un it's unbearable <laughs> unable to saturate all this these shots right here and we're gonna get our six kill right there boom splash six way to go marceau how do you like it so that is the power of the marceau let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you like marceau do you like the way we build it and the build will be at the end of the video as always this is the power of what the french dd line can do but as always hope you guys are doing well hope you enjoy the video and as and uh, as always make sure you say hi when you see me out there we really enjoy you guys uh playing and having fun we're building a great community and as always you guys take care stay safe and we'll see you soon cheers